and today, um, you know, so we're improvising and today we are going to paint. Now I know I've already done a painting video in the past and it went really good. Today I figured we'd do another painting video, but this time we're not trying to be Bob, okay? We're not trying to be Bob Ross, we're not trying to be anyone but ourselves. But along with that, we're also going to talk. So yeah, we're gonna paint and chat and it's gonna be fun and you're gonna join me and Welcome to this week's video. <laughs> I'm just gonna get right into it. I don't know what I'm painting yet, and I guess you're not gonna find out till the end. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna get you to watch this whole video. Unless you skip to the end, but you don't know how to do that. I don't even know what I'm painting yet. But, ooh, I know what I'm painting. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do it really right. And start with a pencil. Or maybe not, because I lost my pencil. Alright, so we have all our supplies here. We have paint and a palette and water and paint brushes and a canvas and an easel and a rag okay i don't know where i'm going with this drawing already i need a reference oh okay oh now i have a new cool idea of what i could draw and let's talk about things that make me cry which leads us to puppies puppies really make me cry one because they're so cute and two, because I can't have one. Well, I once had a fish, but I mean, they're not quite as cuddly. I want a puppy so bad. We were watching adorable puppy videos in biology. I was just sitting there in the middle of class, literally crying. There were actual tears running down my face. I've never gotten to experience that joy of just having a puppy. You know, puppies are just so useful. I mean, they're there for you when you need support. They cuddle you when you're lonely. They bark and are all playful and stuff when you need a play date, you know, a friend. All right, next order of business. Other things that make me cry. Babies. Babies indeed also make me cry as of recently. Mainly it's just my sister's babies, just because they're so cute and they're so special and I love them so much and they make me seem really old. I immediately feel like one of those old lady ants who like, you know, goes up to you and pinches your cheek at every event. They turn me into that. And I'm only 15. No, our pencil did not just run out of. This is my only pencil that I have for school. You better have some. One of you better have something. What am I gonna do now? Now let's move on, I suppose we can move on. It's a very rare when I get addicted to a show. Okay, well actually I very much am one to get addicted to a show. So I am right now with Gossip Girl. I know, I know, but it's so good. I'm not even ashamed. It is so good. And this is completely relevant on the list of things that make me cry because I have cried like five times watching that show in one day. I won season four, almost done with it. There are six seasons. And I am sad because it's gonna be ending pretty soon. Now, what am I going to do with my life, you know? When I'm not worrying about Chuck and Blair's relationship status, what am I really doing? Am I even alive? So, these are the bigger questions in life that have really just been plaguing my conscience. And I don't know what to do about it. So, help me. All I have to say. <sighs> oh. I don't know how to say what I have to say without spoiling it, but I won't because I'm a good egg and a good friend and you're welcome and now you should get me a puppy. I don't know how to feel about anything that's been happening recently. Everyone who you once hated, you love now. And everyone who you once loved, you hate now. And I love when shows do that, but then I'm like, you know, also just confused. Gossip Girl is literally one of those shows where you can hate everyone all at once, but you still watch it. I'm sorry if I'm kind of boring. I'm just kind of talking and focusing at the same time, which is always hard for me. So college, I know that's a weird thing, but I'm going to be a junior next year. And I guess I really do need to start thinking more about college. Not like I haven't because ever since I was little, I've always wanted to go to New York. Recently NYU, which is my dream school, my school of choice, the place I want to go to, and not just because they go there on Gossip Girl, I promise I'm not that obsessed. Recently, NYU has come out, come out with, has released, has brought about a new program. Collaborative Arts. This is 
something that I am extremely interested in. Uh, it's just kind of everything I've ever wanted to do when I was little. It's collaborative arts, meaning it is a mix of all different types of art. Filmmaking, which is obviously something that I'm interested in, I'm doing this right now. Even though it's not like a film film, I still have always been interested in directing and filmmaking and stuff. It's writing, which is something that I've also been really, really interested in and into in recent years. It's dancing, which I have a background in, believe it or not. It's also singing, like music and stuff, which is one of my main interests right now, I would say. And it's, you know, visual art. So like what I'm doing right now, which I know and you know, I don't have the best skills in but i think with the collaborative arts program's help we can turn our art around and i don't just mean physically it has literally every kind of art form that you could ever dream of and that is something that is perfect for me because i've never wanted to narrow anything down in my life i don't like making decisions like that especially since i'm interested in each and every one of those because I just have, you know, I don't know, I guess, very wide interests, broad interests. I like to do a lot of stuff, right? And I have the attention span for nothing specific. So I think this is perfect for me. And I got really excited when I found out about it. And I literally spent like four hours just googly eyeing at their website and at all the requirements and stuff for the program because, I don't know, I'm getting older and getting closer to looking at college stuff and thinking about it more. Junior year is kind of when you start thinking about it a lot, I think. It's when everyone kind of expects you to know. And not that I really want to care about anyone else's expectations, but I want to know. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm. At first, I remember I used to debate whether or not I even wanted to go to college. But then I realized that I am maybe more of a nerd than I would like myself to believe. And I do want to go to college because I want to learn what I want to learn. And this collaborative arts thing sounds amazing. All right, I'm almost done. So I think I'm just going to do a time lapse. And you're going to get to watch me time lapse. I'm almost done. <laughs> pieces our best our best pieces and you can you can imagine how the rest of my art looks i was kind of trying to go for like you know a skyscraper and then like you know in the daylight it all seems perfect and pretty and then at night it like falls apart i don't know i don't really know like symbolism something um make of this what you will but this is what happened this is the final product of you know our ramblings and painting and stuff so i hope you enjoyed this video i was pretty chill i know it was kind of probably boring because i just sat here painted and talked for the whole time but um you know thanks for hanging out with me and joining me anyway i'll try to make sure this doesn't become such a long video so i hope it's not too too long um but yeah thanks for hanging out with me and i can't wait to see you next time and you should subscribe so i can see you next time and that is all i have to go wash paint off my hands now but honestly who else loves when you have paints on your hands because it makes you feel a little artsy i don't know maybe that's just me but whoa bye guys see you next time that that we got like that was kind of good mm -hmm.